WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 30th day of August. And we're looking at uh, this Monday and we're looking at the open of the, of the week with the Dow down 51 and 35,402. In my show coming up, the Tiger's Ignitions Hour, I want to talk about this particular cluster formation right here with the Dow stalling for about five or six sessions. Hasn't already broken out above the 35,000. It needs to get to 35,580 to say, hey, I'm trying to go back to the 35,631 all-time high, but it's stalled right here. But you've got other things going on. Look, the S&P, S&P at this particular moment is trading at an all-time high at 4520.70, up 11 points. That's really fantastic. And it's extended its leg D in the weekly. And I'm suspicious of saying uh, September is a week, uh, usually a weak month, uh, until I start to see sell signals. And it looks to me that I really have to call this a new leg B. In the Chapman methodology, we're always looking for buy signals to go to buy mode, implying there will be at least four higher peaks, peak A, peak B, peak C, and peak D. Well, this is more likely a peak B, a leg B than an F at this particular point. And that suggests that in September this week, we will go to new all-time highs. And that will extend the, hard to believe, hard to believe we're going to extend the monthly chart in leg B. Well, we'll see what happens. Any slide in the next couple of days below 44, uh, 63 would say, nah, yeah, no, that, that's not going to happen. Look at the QQQ, NDX 100 trading right now. This is the Vehicle Investor QQQ Trust Series. Also, I really think this is a leg B. This has every indication this is a leg B at an all-time high. A 378.65, very strong. The IWM is taking a little bit of a breather. It was leading the other day. Very often does this. And then it hit that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. On Friday today, it went fractionally higher to 227.35. It's now 225.95. So there could be a day or two of stalling right here. But this has been very good action. And it's important that the Russell 2000, the small caps, uh, continue higher. This to gold right now. Gold is trading down just three at 18.16. It made new recovery high at 18.26. This is very good action. Here's the 200 period moving average. I suspect that's going to be a bit of a, a, a magnet at this particular point. We'll be back. We'll talk about crude oil, talk about bonds. As soon as I return for the Tigers Ignitions Hour and check out my opening call, my dating newsletter. Otherwise, have a great day, but I hope to see you in a few minutes. That's